to season a skillet, all you really need is a little flaxseed oil, a couple paper towels to wipe down the excess, and a little bit of time. What's up guys? Hey man, I just got back from the store, picked up this beautiful brand new Lodge brand, made in the USA, cast iron skillet. I'm gonna show you how to take it from this to this. Right, so seasoning a cast iron skillet is pretty easy. Once your cast iron cookware is seasoned really well, man, it's like cooking on glass. It's just, it's super smooth. One of the best pieces of cookware I have or, or anything cast iron. So to do this, it's really easy to do. It's just, I use flax seed oil, a uh, little paper towel, rub it on, coat it, and then get, wipe it off, get it clean. We're gonna throw it in the oven at 450 for about an hour and then just turn it off and let that thing come to a, a nice cool rest on its own. All right. I like to start with the outside first. I'm gonna take and just use my hands and get this all over every single part of this cast iron skillet gets oil, including the handles. You gotta get the handles too. Don't sit here. Sleeves don't roll down over your hands. Don't be afraid to put this stuff on too. Again, it won't go in the oven with all of this. We're gonna wipe, it, wipe some of it off. We just want a nice even film on there to get in all the pores. We're just gonna coat this up really well. Once you have your oil all over, even down here where they have this stamp here where it says Lodge, and then 1896, get oil in every little nook and cranny. Then we're simply gonna take a paper towel and wipe the excess off. Now I use I use flaxseed oil instead of vegetable oil. Flaxseed, um, it has a higher smoke temperature. In other words, I mean, it's gonna, it'll smoke a little bit at first, but um, not as bad as some of the other oils. There we have it. Now it's ready to go in the oven. All right, pan. in the oven it goes. So I'll use a pan to catch any of the grease or any of the oil that comes off of this. And it shouldn't, but just in case, then you wanna put your, your skillet or any of your whatever cast iron cookware upside down. Just like that, as the oven is preheating, the cast iron will preheat with it, and we'll let this go for about an hour after it hits 450. All right, let's give this thing a look. Oh yeah, you can already see how it's got a nice dark glaze on it. And I can't wait till this thing cools off. It's already looking beautiful. All right, everything's cooled down in here. Let's check this out. Oh yeah, nice and cool, beautiful glaze. Let's look at the inside. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what, I like this, but it could be better. We're gonna coat this one more time, put it back in for another hour, and then the following cool down, I want a nice glaze on this thing, like a glass finish. You can have a good finish like this and you can cook with this 
for months and months and months before it needs to be seasoned again, as long as you don't use detergent or anything super scratchy like steel wool or uh, something real abrasive. Um, but we're going to get another coat on this and uh, get it back in there. All right, guys, here it is after two seasonings. Let's check this out. Oh, yeah. Man. That is beautiful. I like it. I like it a lot. I'll tell you what. Again, we can cook on this right now. I think we're going to go for one more. I want three seasonings on this thing before I use it for the first time. I like it the way it is. Let me give you a closer look. Right, so as you can see from the glaze on this thing, the shine, it's got an excellent coating. It's got excellent seasoning on it. Again, this is after two seasonings, this brand new Lodge made in the USA skillet. This is, again, a skillet with no handle. This is gonna be excellent for using in the smoker, in the oven. Um, I've got an upcoming video I'm gonna do of some cheese stuffed meatballs and a homemade marinara sauce covered with cheese on top. Um, we're gonna do that one out on the smoker too, but uh, that's upcoming. I just want to get this thing seasoned up just right and I'm telling you I love the way this is right now. This is perfect But I want one more seasoning on it. Let's get that done All right, and one last time, we're gonna get this going. 450, once it heats up, I'm gonna set my cooking time for one hour. It'll automatically shut off at one hour and begin the cooling process. Third and final seasoning for the brand new cast iron skillet. All right, still a little warm, but I'll tell you what, this is it, done. Yep, let me, let me get my hot pads. <laughs> It's cooled off for about two and a half hours, but it's still pretty warm. I don't know if you can see this. The light's gone kind of bad on us, but uh, man, I'll tell you what. This is exactly what I was looking for. Looking like glass. I'm hoping you can see that. I'm trying to angle it. This is three seasonings. Oh yeah, man. So this is seasoned with flaxseed oil, Excess wiped off, an hour in the oven at 450 for one hour, hour in the oven, 450 for one hour. Allowed to cool, reglazed, it was seasoned three times. Man, this looks perfect. There's protection on it now. I can't wait to do the first cook in this skillet. It's gonna be amazing. Thanks a lot, guys. If you weren't sure how to season a cast iron piece of cookware, now you do. I hope this helped out. There's a hundred different million ways to do it. I want to say my grandmama probably did it with bacon grease um, back in the day. But, you know, like I said, I do it with flaxseed. Um, the smoke temperature, the smoke level is a little bit higher. So we don't get a whole bunch of smoke in the house. I do run the fan anyway. Um, this is just the way I do it. Thanks for watching, guys.